forward on this. Yeah, because what I what I what I noticed when I was doing this is that you could go from anywhere from nineteen dollars for a bottle to hundreds of dollars for a bottle yes. or for a jar. Okay. Um, and the way everybody labels is slightly different. And some places really make you dig for an ingredients list. Yeah. And so I just thought that it would be kind of cool tonight to go through um, a couple of different types and just really <laughs> read the label and just determine what that like what it actually is in comparison to all the other ones. Right. right. So um, why don't we just get started? And if people want to join, they can, they'll join whenever. Um, okay. And um, so, like I said, I started doing a lot of this digging because I'm a young living rep. And so we got a collagen um, last June that our company had been working on for four years. And that's when I really started to notice everybody's company had a collagen or two and um, what it, what is the difference from all of these things? Because um, you have to take it for quite a while on any brand to see some results. So you kind of want to know at the beginning what you know what you can expect. Um, yeah. So um, like and and because you can buy this like a super you can buy it at superstore, Costco, online with companies like Young Living or Trenant or Arbon. New skin, they've we've we've all got a variation. Um yeah. but what makes some work differently or better or less like or or less than others? And then how does it play into what you might think about paying for these things? Um, because that's a good consideration for some people that you know they're really they really have to watch what their budget is like. And so um, you know, those the $19 ones are very attractive. And then you got to figure out, well, is that one, is it going to give you what you're looking for in terms of results? Right. So yeah, um, I put a little bit of a thing together at the beginning here just to talk about collagen because not everybody knows. I picked a, I picked a slide show and it zips in and out. So anyway, forgive me for that. But um, just for people who don't know, collagen actually just provides um, structure and strength and support to your body. It does a lot of different things. And most of the information I got on what collagen does, I've taken from the Cleveland Clinic. So nobody that has anything to do with selling uh, collagen, I took it from them. They got no skin in the game in this, um, yeah. which is what I what I liked about it. Because the information then is just kind of pure information. It helps um, form your uh, middle skin layer, helps new cells grow. Um, it provides these are a couple of things I didn't think about when I first started on it. It provides protective covering for your organs um, and it provides strength and elasticity to your skin, but also to your blood vessels, which is something that really helped me when I was on blood thinners. Right. Um, I, I, the, the second time I was on blood thinners and on collagen, first time I wasn't, second time I was, I bruised a lot less. Right. Because I was taking the collagen. And collagen also helps your blood to clot. So there's a lot of things, not just hair. Oh, it helps your hair, helps your skin. I mean, it helps your eyes. It really helps everything. It's the most um, predominant protein in our body. So it's a really important thing. And the reason why we need it is because we lose it as we age. Starting at about 25 years old, our body's production of collagen decreases significantly. And by the time we're 60, there's like five percent or ten percent of it left in our body which is why we wrinkle so badly but we also do a lot of things have i have had um lots of people inquiring about it for elderly parents who bruise and their skin is so thin and so fine and they're covered in bruises and you know they bump into something and their skin kind of tears and it helps with all of that yeah um and it makes sense now to me why because I remember my father-in-law, his hands were always like black and blue, always black yeah. and blue. And that's because by the time he, you're eight, he was 80 at the time, he would have like 1% collagen left in his body. Um, there are some supporting um, ingredients that um, help our bodies with 
collagen production. Um, vitamin C is one of the, and you can get a lot of these in food, but to get enough, sometimes you have to eat an awful lot of food, but vitamin C helps with collagen. Um, proline helps with collagen, glycine, copper, and zinc. Those are just a few things. Um, uh, the, some are amino acids, some are vitamins, some are minerals. So those things help with your collagen production in your body naturally. You can eat food that contains that, um, and um, they help with the collagen production. And, and it can be part of a healthy diet. But as we age, the other thing that happens is we eat less. So at least as you age significantly, my father-in-law ate very little bits. Yeah. So, um, and I know that as you get less active, lots of people eat less or don't eat as well. The other thing about collagen that we need to know is that there are multiple types and sources for collagen supplementation. Um, and there are five main types of collagen. And um, so type one is 90% of the collagen in our body. And it's really densely packed and it's skin, bones, tendons, and ligaments. Um, and as I started to read through these things over again, I kept thinking about friends I knew as they aged, they would get tendon issues or they would tear a, an Achilles uh, tendon or they would wreck the ligaments in their knee. You know, all of these things are getting much more fragile because our collagen production is declining. Um, type two collagen is found in elastic cartilage, which uh, gives you joint support. Type three is found in muscles, arteries, and organs. Type four is found in the various layers of your skin and five is the kind that you find in your eyes, some layers of your skin, your hair, and tissue of the of a placenta. So um, where do we get supplemental collagen? Well, it comes from the bone, skin, um, and connective tissue of animals, typically, including uh, cattle, fish, horses, pigs, rabbits. Um, and that's information from the Cleveland Clinic, April 2nd, 2019, okay? So that's where most collagen supplements gather their um, collagen from. Now I have started to see a couple of vegan types of collagen, but I haven't gotten them in this uh, presentation yet um, because I don't think they're as mainstream at the moment, but they will become mainstream and, and we'll have to you know, figure that in. So, um, Collagen sources come from a lot of, you can get it in a lot of places. You can drink a lot of bone broth and you can get um, type one, type two, and type three collagen from bone broth. Um, bovine collagen peptides can give you type one. Um, fish collagen can give you type one. There's a whole bunch of different um, places that you can get the different types. But the interesting thing to know about this is that marine collagen, the fish collagen, is the smallest um, collagen peptides that you can get. So when they make, so there's, when you, when you make a collagen, um, you take the raw collagen and you convert it to a peptide, which is a low molecular weight um, um, component. And the smaller the peptide, the more easily it is assimilated into your body. So bovine, of course, would be the, is the biggest and chicken, you know, chicken would be a bit smaller, but fish is, tends to be the smallest collagen peptide that you can get, which means that to get the same result, you need less marine collagen because it's smaller. Your cells can absorb it better. Um, it is not, all collagen is a protein. So it is not, uh, when it's in your body, it's not a liquid. We'll talk about liquid versus powder in a minute. Um, and then the other thing that you need to think about in terms of collagen sources for all of them is what kinds of environmental factors you have to think about when you're getting a specific kind of collagen. And that would really, you'd really have to think about where the company sources their collagen from and do they make a statement on free of. So for example, bovine collagen, if they're using 
um, the skin and cartilage of cows and they source the majority of it from the US, does the company make a statement that there is no recombinant, recombinant bovine growth hormone in the collagen source? Because you will be ingesting that in your body. In Canada, it's illegal to use that. So uh, that bovine growth hormone, we're not allowed, Canada is not allowed to use that in either their dairy cattle or their um, beef cattle. So if they source that material, raw material from Canada, you wouldn't have to worry about it. The same with chicken, the same with um, fish. Now fish is a little bit different. Fish, you have to ask whether it's wild caught or farm raised because the difference of um, antibiotic use, or oh, that would be in bovine and chicken as well, is how they used antibiotics in the growth to increase the growth of the, the product. So you'd have, so you want to be able to find out from the company you're purchasing from, did they buy a source that, that uses antibiotics? Fish farms, especially like the on land fish farms, use a lot of antibiotics in the US. Um, then if it is wild caught marine um, collagen, you have to ask yourself or, or ask the, the company or the website, have they tested for mercury? And then the other question for marine collagen is what size fish were they using? Because small fish have less um, um, things like mercury and other um, poisons and things in them. Um, per, because they're small versus larger fish who may have more. So you really want to know that the company has tested for those kind of environmental hazards in the product that they're using. So the things you're really looking for in um, land-based collagen is guaranteed free of hormones, free of antibiotics. Um, um, you might want to know if it's free range or not, depending, you know, it's, that's, it's all a value uh, statement for you at that point. And then for fish, you want to know if it's wild caught or farmed. Do they test for mercury? Do they use antibiotics if it's farmed? So there's a lot to know as you're going to buy your collagen. You need to know the type, you need to know the source. Um, you want to know, um, you want to make a decision between beef and fish, whether you want sm smaller peptides or larger. And what it means is that you need to use more of the larger peptide collagen as opposed to the small. So you ask yourself all these questions. Um, there we go. Um, so there's three kinds, there's three main forms of collagen supplements. There's a hydrolyzed collagen. So that's when they take the collagen and they make peptides from it. Um, it's, for, it's exposed to a high heat and it's broken down into small proteins. And those small proteins um, are what your body digests. Gelatin is a form of collagen, okay? Um, oh, and uh, peptides can be dissolved in either hot or cold liquids to ingest them because you don't want to just take the powder. Gelatin can only be dissolved in hot liquid. Um, and it is um, only partially broken down into smaller proteins. So you need much more gelatin than you would need a, a peptide to get the same kind of collagen boost, which is why I laugh when it says bone broth in all three types, because you have to drink a lot of bone broth to get the results that you want um, because it's based on gelatin. And then there's raw. Um, you could chew on a cowhide, um, eat, a, eat a cow ligament. Those are raw forms of collagen, okay? Um, and there is some, re some research, this is again from the Cleveland Clinic, shows that breaking down collagen proteins into collagen peptides does make it easier for the body to absorb it, okay? So, then there are some vitamin and mineral helpers. We already talked about the foods that you could eat, things like vitamin C, zinc, copper, um, things that you could get into your diet that have active roles in collagen synthesis or support. Vitamin C 
actually is required for the synthesis and maintenance of collagen. Okay, so you have to have vitamin C either in the supplement that you take or in your diet to synthesize and maintain collagen. Um, then biotin is also a very, uh, it, vitamin B7, it also is a very common supplement to find in a collagen product. Um, and that's because B7 also supports your hair and nails. So they work kind of synergistically together to support hair and nails. Um, and it, collagen production also requires some nutrients like zinc. So what a good collagen supplement will do is it will provide you collagen plus support your own collagen production at the same time, even though it's quite limited as you age. Okay, and then there are peptides. So what is a peptide? So really a peptide is just a chain of amino acids. They're, you find them naturally in your body already, um, but you can also ingest them through food and supplements. And they are involved in a lot of um, processes in your body and are used in very many places in um, health and wellness and personal care products. So there's a lot, they use them in drugs and supplements, skin care. Um, and um, so these are very common in the health and wellness industry and in the um, makeup and, and um, skin care industries. And current collagen supplements kind of get around the large size of either the, like the gelatin size peptides or the raw material peptides by hydrolyzing the collagen into collagen peptides. OK, um, which makes them much smaller and easier to be absorbed. They can also be made easily into powder and packaged into bills to be taken orally. OK, so all collagen peptides are powder to begin with because it is a protein, not a liquid. There's an, um, liquid liquid collagen is simply collagen that has had liquid applied to it. OK, um, and if you want to make liquid collagen, you apply liquid to the col the powder collagen that you buy. And there is no um, study that I could find that says that purchasing liquid collagen is um, any more um, helpful to your assimilation of it than purchasing powdered collagen peptides and adding your own liquid. So my thing is why pay for water or juice? right? Which is what they typically add to it. Um, okay. Um, hyaluronic acid is something that you often find in some collagen supplements, not in all of them, but in some of them. And you'll notice that probably the more of these supplement of these additives that they add to support the collagen, the more expensive your collagen powder becomes, right? Because it's an extra active ingredient. These are all active ingredients. Um, and hyaluronic acid it really helps your joints. It really helps your skin stay hydrated. It is a naturally occurring substance in your body. Um, it is, um, uh, help used to help treat dry eyes because it holds so much water. I thought this quarter teaspoon of hyaluronic acid holds about one and a half gallons of water was just mind blowing. So it really, it holds, it's like a sponge and it holds all that water, which is why it makes your skin flexible because it helps your skin retain moisture. All right. It's also been shown to help prove, uh, to help heal wounds quicker and reduce scarring. So again, if you're looking at um, purchasing some collagen for an elderly relative or yourself because your skin um, uh, is thin and it's bruising, hy having hyaluronic acid in that supplement would be very helpful to getting your results that you wanted. Then I'm, I'm including this because this is in uh, Young Living's product. I've not seen it in any other product that I've looked at, but Young Living comes at skincare as a gut issue because your gut really does support your skin. Um, and so having good gut health is important to having really healthy skincare. So Young Living adds tapioca fiber to their 
um, collagen supplement because tapioca fiber is a prebiotic. So it is basically like fertilizer for the probiotics in your gut and it helps feed them. But it also has a couple of um, really nice side effects as well. It can help lower cholesterol. It can help with healthy weight management and it can help um, lower a risk of chronic disease like cardiovascular because your gut is healthier and um, getting the nutrients that you need out of your food and um, not creating other issues. So then let's read some labels. So that is just like the basis of how we're going to look at these labels as we go ahead now. Um, and a couple of the things that um, I'm hoping that we can do, I'm in the in the examples that I've got, I actually have it broken down into cost per serving. So people can just see the variation in that. Um, and we can, Helen, we can look up the ones that you have as we go here. Okay. Um, so the, the big thing for me is that all collagen is not equal, right? And it's, the, and it's not surprising. If you can buy something at Superstore or Costco for 20, excuse me, for 20 bucks, you know, you really wonder if it's as good or if it's, if it does as much for you as something that you buy from a company who specializes in these things. But you never know, like sometimes it's surprising, right? So let's start with um, Young Living's first. And I'm going to go to a, um, a comparison page here. And it might be a little small, but so Young Living has Inner Beauty Collagen. And this competitor, I think might be Trenant. I can't, I didn't put the name in and I'm kicking myself now, but I think that's who it was. So for Young, for Inner Beauty, Young Living, per serving, you get five grams of marine collagen. They state specifically on their website that it is wild caught and tested for mercury and from a sustainable fishery, which is something else I like. It has zero water or juice in it. Um, this is the ingredients um, over here. So this is where they have to list all the ingredients that are in the product. And then this is the nutritional facts, which breaks down things like sodium content and carbohydrates and those kinds of things. Um, this is also where it breaks down how much vitamin C like added, um, um, if it puts down added ingredients in there. So the any ingredients in here, would have to show up over here in terms of um, the nutrition facts. So there's 20 calories per scoop of Inner Beauty. It, and per scoop, it has 15 milligrams of sodium, but it has less than one gram of carbohydrate. Um, so that would be good for a keto diet. Uh, you wouldn't be worrying about your, your carbohydrate amount. Um, you can add this, it is a powder, it is flavorless and it is tasteless. So you can add to anything. Um, it has 20 milligrams of vitamin C and in the jar that you get, it has 25 servings and it, it is approximately $3 per serving for that, for the inner beauty one. So then we go to the, it's a really good direct um, comparison because it also provides five grams of marine collagen. And um, the only difference is, is that the, so in ingredients, when you're reading an ingredients label, they are listed in order of um, volume in the product. So if you have fish collagen peptides, as the Young Living one does, as your first ingredient, it is the most predominant ingredient in the, the uh, package and it goes from there it goes down from there it ra it's rated by volume how much of the particular um uh, ingredient is in the package comparatively to other ones so in the competitor I don't, right i don't think this one is trenant okay okay because trenant is uh bovine Oh, okay, perfect then. I'll have to go back and dig and find out where I got this competitor from. Good thing I didn't put anything there. Um, so this one is um, a, a really good comparison because it's also five milligram, five grams of marine collagen. Doesn't say anywhere on the website about where it was caught or if they test for mercury. I'm assuming that they have to test for mercury. But that can be dangerous because if it's made in a different country and then sold in Canada, it, there may be different rules. And I don't know. So 
highly recommend if you're looking at any variation, check to see. The thing is, the, di the main difference between these two is that on the competitor's ingredients list, the very first ingredient is water, and then the second ingredient is apple juice. So those are the two products that you are getting the most of out of that product, every scoop. Um, the, um, let's see, where is the uh, peach concentrate, peach favor, malic acid, lecithin? Yeah, see, it, it says contains fish, but it doesn't list fish peptides in its ingredient yeah, list. So you don't know where it lands in terms of the number like the, the comparison per volume, it has, yeah. so that, that concerns me when they, when they label things like that, because in Canada, you're supposed to label things with the most predominant ingredient first on the ingredients list. And what I noticed in doing the research for this is it's very difficult on some companies to find the ingredients list. <laughs> right. A lot of times you'll get the nutrition facts but then you really have to dig hard for the ingredients. Um, this competitor has 50 calories per scoop, and that's strictly because apple juice is its second component. That's where all of the um, um, carbohydrates would come. It has eight grams of carbohydrate. It come, It's a liquid, so it comes in individual packets. Um, it has 30 milligrams of vitamin C, so it's got a bit more um, vitamin C per um uh per scoop than inner beauty um but it's four dollars and 25 cents per serving okay so there's you can see how doing a little digging in whatever brand you're looking at is a good idea because the thing is we want results <laughs> so we want to make sure that we're going to get results um let me just check my notes here make sure uh, oh, there's a couple of other things in the ingredients list for Young Living that I wanted to say. Um, superoxide dismutase, that is the uh, one, two, three, it's the fourth ingredient in the Inner Beauty Collagen. It is an, it is an, an enzyme that speeds up chemical reactions in the body. It helps to um, um, break down potentially harmful oxygen molecules and prevent damage to tissues. So it's a really helpful additive. The thing that Young Living says about their ingredients list is there are no, uh, every ingredient is an active ingredient. There's, they're all there for a reason. The other one that's on there is caprylic trigl triglyceride, which is a, a, cur a, a naturally occurring fatty acid from coconut or palm oil. And it is kind of an emollient and it helps the skin form a protective layer with because it locks in moisture. So the hyaluronic acid that's in there bulks you up and the triglyceride actually helps you lock in that moisture. Um, and it's also an antioxidant, okay? Um, and then ceramides, there's peach ceramides in the inner beauty and that's the same, it's a type of lipid, which is a fat, which, which um, stores in the skin and has a, another strong affinity for water. So you've kind of got three ingredients there to help your skin stay moisturized. Um, to, uh, ceramides, the hyaluronic acid, and the um, triglyceride. So all of those help uh, your skin stay moisturized while the collagen builds up and makes your skin stronger. Okay, so then there's one that's on my U my Facebook page advertising to me every day. Landish Pure Canadian Marine Collagen. Um, its jar is 250 grams and it's 49.98. It has 30 servings in it with eight grams of um, collagen per serving. It's got 30 calories to it and 15 milligrams of sodium. It runs about $1.66 per serving. This is all it says for ingredients. It just says wild caught North Atlantic fish. It does not say anything else. And so then I wonder where does the sodium come from, <laughs> right? Um, um, and so I don't know if that's the full ingredient list or not. I, I don't know. And I cannot find on their website anywhere 
a complete ingredient list. It doesn't talk about, it, it says wild caught um, uh, sam, uh, fish collagen peptides, which is great. Does not talk about uh, mercury testing or any other kind of contaminant testing. I'm thinking because it's a Health Canada natural product number that they must do some of that. Um, but it also apparently does not contain any of the other helping helpful ingredients like vitamin C or zinc or hyaluronic acid or any of those supporting um, copper or anything. It just sounds like it is 100% just fish peptides in the container. So you would um, not be getting that. And so you could decide for yourself if you wanted to add those things, which is why this one is less expensive than the other two. Because the other two had extra supporters in there and they charge you more so that it's all in one place. This, if you wanted those things, you would have to add it. The other thing that I would go checking is, is the fishery from which this is caught a sustainable fishery? Because if it's not a sustainable fishery, um, we're really kind of deci decimating a, a fish stock for, for it. And, you know, that, that bothers me. So that would be the other thing that I would go and check for with this particular company. And then um, Susan couldn't come tonight, but she sent me one that she was looking at. And this, this one was interesting. So this is purely inspired collagen peptides. The head company for this is in Canada, but this ships out of the US. So I don't know where the source of the product comes from. It doesn't say. Um, this one is bovine. It does say it's free of recombinant bovine growth hormone. It says it has added vitamin C, biotin, and zinc, but it doesn't provide an ingredients list. Um, well, it has a little one down here. Hydrogen collagen peptides, ascorbic acid, silicon dioxide, and that's um, to keep it from clumping, biotin, zinc, and biotin, biotin and zinc oxide. It's 1999 for a 454 gram container. It would be cheap like this because it's cow. It does not say where the sourcing of the product comes from. I don't know if it's US, I don't know if it's Canada, I don't know if it's other places. Um, you get 20 grams of protein, of like collagen per scoop. But that's because bovine, bovine collagen is not as effective your body doesn't use it as well as marine. So you have to use more to get similar results. It has 50 milligrams of sodium per scoop, which is starting to be a lot of sodium. And it works out to about 90 cents per serving. Now I'm, so it'll be more if that 1999 is US dollars. And I'm thinking it is because it talks about free shipping in the continental US. So I'm thinking that it's shipping out of the US. So that's 20 bucks American. So it would be more per serving once you do the conversion. But you need a lot more of this to get the same results as the marine collagen. Um, it was really, really hard to find out about information about the company. And actually, the name of the company is only mentioned in one spot on the website, and that's the accessibility page. Not even the contact us page has the company name on it. So, you know, I start to wonder what's the company values, what what's really going on with this company? Because honest to God, I don't want to be taking stuff that's going to gonna do more harm than good. Now, it's interesting that this label says hair and skin and nail support because of the biotin and not because of the bovine. Because the thing about bovine um, collagen is it's actually better for joint and cartilage issues, like ligament issues, than it is for skin and hair and gut and um, the other things that marine is really uniquely good at providing it is good skin, hair, nails, gut, um, organ protection. 
Uh, bovine is better, much better for, for joints and ligaments and cartilage. So depending on what your goal is for taking the collagen, you, you may want to take mo, uh, uh, bovine. If you're looking at, you know, um, fixing uh, your cranky knees or um, you're having collagen or um, ligament issues, you might want to do um, bovine. Um, and if you're looking at, you know, organ and skin and blood vessel and cardiovascular support, you might want to look at the marine more. Now that said, there is very little double blind placebo studies on collagen use, just putting that out there. Um, because, you know, um, you want to just have it all out on the table. But um, um, anecdotally, lots of evidence that people are seeing improvement in their skin condition um, with collagen supplementation. Now, there is still, these are all powdered collagen. There are many companies who are selling um, liquid. Now, it's really difficult to break through what's marketing and what's not marketing um, language um, because there's no real studies on whether liquid collagen is more effective than um, powder. But the thing about it is, as soon as you add liquid to powdered collagen, it dissolves into a liquid. But the protein of collagen is actually always a solid. So make up your decision. And it tends to be that liquid collagens are significantly more expensive than powdered collagen. So you can make decisions based on those factors as well. So what kind have you got there, Helen? What's I've got that? the Trinant. Okay, well, let me see if I can pull that up. All right, so let's use our newly found, um, Oh, I think I'm going to have to do something else differently here. Um, let's just give me a second here. I'm going to open a different browser and move it over here. Let's go to Trinant. With the collagen. And then go here. All right. So. Let's find the uh, supplement facts. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, good. So um, I wonder if I can, how do I blow this up on this one here? It's really hard. Okay, get away. Mm -hmm. Get out of there. All right. So um, let's just read this here. So it has um, 40 calories per serving, 10 grams of protein per serving, um, it has um, four and a half grams of biotin. Oh, it has 11 grams of collagen peptides, it says. So somehow it increases the collagen peptides by one over the protein. And I'm not sure exactly how on earth they would do that. But you see, they have broken out their um, ingredients list into two components. So it does not mm -hmm. list things in order it doesn't list their proprietary blend along with all of the other ingredients. So you don't know where it falls, but because it's liquid, water is the first thing there. Yeah. And so it will be the most predominant component. Then it has hydrolyzed, oh, it says pasture-raised collagen. So it is a bovine collagen. Malic acid is probably for um, preservative. Uh, it does have hyaluronic acid. It has a couple of, oh, it has pomegranate, decaffeinated green tea, uh, grapeseed extract in glycerin, and then it's sweetened with stevia. Um, it's got sodium benzoate and potassium sorbate for preservative. Um, it does not list what the sodium content is 
Um, I wonder if it's on another one. Uh, yeah, I didn't see it on any of them. Which is interesting. No? And it comes in different flavors. Yeah. And that's because bovine collagen has a very distinctive taste. And so they add those flavors to it. The interesting thing about marine collagen is that they can make it small enough that there's no flavor and no smell. And both, both of the um, marine collagens at the beginning, the Young Living and the Competitor, both state no flavor to them. So you can add them to coffee or tea or your cereal and you don't, you can't tell, or your smoothie or whatever. This one, oh, this one, so the serving size is two tablespoons. The container contains 15 um, servings. And what is the cost of it? So that is the American. So Canadian, it's 83. Yeah, for, for a half a month. Half a month. So, yeah. 100 and, so 160, probably 200 um, for a month. Okay, so that's, that's our most expensive one yet. So, and this, this does list, it's um, in order of what it's helpful for, because it puts healthy bones, muscles first, because it's bovine, yeah. and then organ, skin, and more. Okay, so bovine is much better for the bones and muscles, um, and then marine is better. So, um, and the reason that this is so um, is expensive is that it, bovine is the bigger peptide, so your body doesn't use it as well. I don't know. Um, they probably have some pretty good um, testimonials on the page. And you know what? It could work really great for people. But I think going in, understanding what you're getting is a really good uh, thing to know. Okay. Um, what was the other one that you've got? Joyom. Joyom? Okay. Plexus Joyom. Hello. Oh, let's go here. All right. Where is uh, so this is a powder. Um and it's a uh, marine and bovine. Marine and bovine. Okay. Um it does have ceramides, biotin, prebiotics, and antioxidant-rich superfoods, which is all really good supporting a supporting cast member. Um it's uh 30, 30 day supply is sixty six dollars. Um, that's American, and that's American. So let's look at the nutrition labels, shall we? Uh, okay, so wild caught marine and grass fed bovine. Um, they have their say their their pro their prebiotic um, uh, compound that they put in a lot of their other things in this. It has vitamin C, vitamin E, biotin, ceramides. Where is their nutrition label? Hmm. Where is their nutrition label? Oh, there, there. Supplement facts. Okay. So, um, hmm. well, it doesn't have an ingredients list that lists things by amount um interesting uh but it has the kuma fruit powder pomegranate extract which is a great antioxidant asparagus shoot okra pod coffee fruit extract quercetin acerola fruit juice camu camu fruit juice uh acacia palm fruit and mangosteen fruit so where so calories per serving is 25 it doesn't list carbohydrates, but it's got to have carbohydrates in it because it's got yeah. fruit juice. Mm -hmm. um, 25 milligrams of sodium, so kind of middle of the road for that. Two and a half grams of biotin, uh, 90 milligrams of ascorbic acid, and 60 of vitamin E. You use two scoops. So your container... Um, it lasts... Sorry? 
half a month, 15 days. 15 days, yeah. And um, so it says at the bottom, seven grams per two scoops is an average, okay? Um, and so you might get slightly more, slightly less, depending on how full your scoops are. So you're getting in two scoops, seven milligrams of um, collagen protein in two scoops. Okay. Um, and you said it was $66 American. American. Yeah, which is about the same price as the Young Living, $66, $64 yeah. American. Um, and then um, that says it's a 30 day supply ish. So, you know, that's another good one. I mean, I guess it depends what the um, ratio between bovine and marine would be. And they don't ever list that. Although they do on their list here have um, hydrolyzed bovine first and fish uh, peptide second. But I don't know if that means that that's the ratio right. or not, right? So that's a question that you'd have to ask. It's dairy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, which is great. Um, and the wheat, this is interesting, has been processed to allow this supplement to meet the FDA requirements for gluten-free. So it has wheat in it, but it's called gluten-free. Right. So that's interesting. So yeah, so that, I mean... Always a couple of interesting questions, but again, it looks like kind of the the middle of the road, like the inner beauty one. Yeah. Yeah. Just knowing that you have a combination of um bovine and marine, and it doesn't say what the what the ratio of that is. Oh, and it has a flavor. It has a natural flavor, it says. And it's from salmon specifically. So I would assume that this is farmed. Although, did it say wild caught? Let's uh, go back wild here. caught marine and oh. grass fed bovine. Interesting. Okay, so wild caught salmon. That's interesting. Um, and what they what they use out of the fish for collagen is the skin and the bones and the head, basically. So the 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 waste product. Right. So yeah, so that is those two. So that's kind of how I learned to go through the label reading of these various things, because at the end of the day, you're going to make a decision based on the things that you're most comfortable with. But it's nice, it's nice to be able to go through them and figure out what they're telling you and what they're not telling you. So yeah. Do you have any questions? And you said the Young Living one was a month supply? Yeah. So this one's only half a month. No, this the, the Plexus is 30 days. The Trenant was 15. Um, yeah, this has got a 30-day supply of Joyo Multi-Action Collagen. Then the Trenant was 15. I, the one that I have says only 15 oh. days. Oh, Are you sorry. It says 15 results in as soon as 15 days. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Well, I guess it depends on what results you're looking for. Right. Because based like, on whether there's more bovine or marine, right. you yeah. you may get bone and joint results and not, right? Or, and not skin or the other way around. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. So it does say 30 days. Right. Yeah. So Joyome is, is 30 days. Young Living is approximately 30 days, depending on how big your scoop, and both of them are about, about how much you fill your scoop, right? I think the scoops are always a little bit bigger than the actual amount. And this one, um, you use two scoops with this. The Young Living, you use one scoop. Um, I like that this um, has no artificial flavors, colors, sweeteners, or preservatives, because you know, yeah. probably not needing that. Uh, yeah, so that's just the kind of going through the various things out there.
so that if you're in a store and you see collagen, because in Shoppers Drug Mart, there is a whole wall. There's yes. a whole section of shelves full of different collagens. And they range in price from, you know, like that one that was 20 bucks all the way up through, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars. Yeah. So you need to be able to go and read them because I bet you the $19 one, you need multiple scoops and you need to buy more than one container to get through a month. Yeah. Yeah. And then they don't have any of the added ingredients that support the collagen. So you'll need more of the other one or you'll right. buy other supplements to help them. So you end up probably in the same cost category ultimately. Yeah. Yeah. So that. Those Young Living, is it available on the Canadian website or just the American? It's just the American one, but you can, it's easy enough to set it up. Yeah. 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 And what um, do you usually put your collagen into to drink it? Um, lately, lately I've ha been having a combination. I take a glass of water. <laughs> I add the collagen. I add some, um, magnesium calcium supplement for my cardiovascular health. Mm -hmm. Um, and a splash of nature red and I drink it like that. Lots of people just put it in their coffee. Yeah. Cause always, cause I don't drink coffee. Oh yeah. Tea. Um, um so I, I don't know. I don't drink tea. Water juice. No, I don't drink juice. So oh. I drink water, but that's oh. kind of like. Do you know what it's really good in? B bubbly, bubbly. Oh, okay. Sparkling water. Yeah. I drink it a lot in that all summer when, if we're out in the RV, that's what I drink okay. it in because I've got that to stay hydrated. Right. Yeah. And there's no, there's no sodium or sugar in that. So you're not adding anything other than. Um, a mild flavor and carbonation. Right. Yeah. So that's what I drink it in, in the, in the summer. Yeah. Cause I found like with the Trinant, like it was liquid so I could just quickly drink it and yep. it's over with, but then it's so expensive. Yep. Right. That I was like, I got to find something else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's, it's almost three times the price of all the rest of them. Yeah. 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 And, and I think, and I'm, and I'm, I've not found any um, research that says that liquid, like when you buy it as a liquid, it's better. Right. I mean, their because, site says it's absorbed better, but <laughs> there's yeah. not any real other information about it. No, no. I think it probably, um, because it's, because uh, the, the bottle has the, the serving size it says has 10 grams of protein in it. You're probably getting a bit more collagen per serving. Um, but it doesn't say, does it, did it say if it was um, marine or uh, just this type of one? It's bovine. Uh, so you, so that's why there's more protein in there. It's bigger amount, like it's bigger peptides for bovine. You also need more of it because it's not as easily um utilized by your body as marine so same results might require more product right bovine as opposed to 100 percent marine yeah yeah so yeah tons yeah. to know <laughs> yeah tons to know well yeah i mean there is so much out there and it's such a wide variety of costs right and... yep yep absolutely yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I think, I think the thing is, for some people, um, they don't, like, I know that one said 15 days. Yeah, I would, I would give it a good six weeks, honestly, because um, I think for long standing uh, changes, it takes a while. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the 15 days might be someone who's 30. Yeah. <laughs> as opposed to someone who's you know 60 yeah so i i recommend like getting a two like making sure you order for two months and giving it a try and giving yeah. it a good try and being consistent with it because if you're not consistent either you know you're not going to see them yeah yeah That's but my true. my biggest aha was the 
lack of bruising on blood thinners. Right. Because the first time, my first heart attack, I had, I towards towards the end of my cardiac cocktail year, I'd have people yeah. coming up and asking me if I was okay. Because my arms right. would be so bruised, right? So yeah. all summer I'd wear like long sleeve shirts, you know, longer yeah. dresses yeah. or pants. Because people were like really concerned. And I thought I was so frustrated. It's like, hmm. So when I had the second one and I was on blood thinners, the exact same thing, I all yeah. this had come out. And so I started taking that. And honest to God, I hardly bruised at all. And that for me was a huge win. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for, for hosting this yeah um let me know if you have any other questions um and um i hope you got some good photos of the ingredients and things because it's some good information there just to know yeah yeah cool yeah for sure awesome well right. um i'm gonna let you go to your evening and thank you very much for joining me i really appreciate it and i hope i hope you learned something all right thank you Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Ellen. Bye bye. Bye.